An ordinary beachgoer probably would not have noticed it, but fossil hunter Jamie Hiscox immediately knew that a small rock he picked up on this Sussex beach in 2004 was something special. Incrustations on the top, it sort of encrusting sort of features, which just looked a bit odd for a, for a normal stone. Partial and sometimes even full skeletons of prehistoric animals are constantly being found in various parts of the world. After millions of years, the bones are totally devoid of any soft tissue. In fact, it is hard to distinguish fossilized bone from ordinary rock. But under certain conditions, the soft tissue may be preserved. Scientists think that when this animal died, its head fell into the mud of what once was a swamp, which suspended the natural decaying process and allowed crystallization of a small amount of the tough membrane that surrounds the actual soft parts of the brain. Mineralization has also preserved the fine blood vessels running through those textures and also the really fine capillaries and a little bit of the cortex of the brain immediately beneath those membranes. Scientists say the specimen probably belonged to a herbivore, similar to the better known iguanodon. Closer study revealed that its brain tissue was much closer to the skull than in typical reptiles, indicating that some dinosaurs' brains may have been larger than previously thought. Scientists say that dinosaur's tissue is similar to today's crocodiles and birds, proving once again that these animals have descended from dinosaurs. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.